Good morning everyone. I'm glad to be back with you to share in our devotion this morning. Um, we're, today we're looking at John chapter 12. Um, we're going to look at a couple of verses starting at verse 28. Uh, so it says this, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said an angel has spoken to him. But Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Um, and from these few verses this morning, I, wanna, I want to ask you a question. What is your first response when God is moving or God is speaking? Because from these verses, we can identify three different responses. Uh, so the first thing is you can reduce it to a natural explanation. So the crowd said that it had thundered. The crowd said it had thundered. And I just wonder how many times in our lives um, has God been moving or God been speaking to us and we have tried to reduce it uh, and rationalize the supernatural to, to the natural. Um, you know, maybe God's been speaking to us about something. It's like, oh, that's just my own thoughts. It's just my own head. Um, it's not him speaking. Or maybe God's been moving and he's done you know incredible things maybe he's healed someone maybe he's uh, done a miracle and you've rationalized it away well oh, well maybe the the medicine worked or maybe something else happened and there's even this thing known as cognitive dissonance so uh, where your your brain actually cannot compute the miracle that has happened before your eyes and uh, we've seen this before where we've prayed for people and seen their legs grow and some people just can't like they, they literally do not see it even though the leg has clearly grown out a couple of inches they just can't they're like no I didn't see anything because they can't just uh, process it so I just wonder how often do we reduce when God is speaking when God is moving um, to a natural explanation um, the second response then is that we recognize it um, as a super, supernatural manifestation so others said um, it was an angel so we recognize it as supernatural, but we don't attribute it to the work of the Holy Spirit or the work of God. You know, this could be something like fate, chance, luck, superstition. So we recognize that something supernatural happened, but we more think of it in terms of superstition or fate or chance or karma or something else. So we can recognize that, well, that was an angel but we don't recognize that it was to do with God or the Holy Spirit. It's just like this other supernatural um, manifestation. Um, or the third response then is that we can receive it as a personal invitation. Because Jesus says in this verse, this voice has come for your sake. Uh, and what we need to recognize is that every miracle, every sign, every wonder is actually a personal invitation for you and for me to encounter the person of Jesus. Every time God moves in a supernatural way, every time God speaks to us, whether that's through, through his word or through one of the other things that I've talked about previously, Every one of those moments is an invitation for you to encounter the person of Jesus. So I just want to ask you real simple, it's real short this morning. Which one do you relate most with? Which one do you think is your first kind of response when you're in a moment when God is evidently moving or evidently speaking? Do you try to reduce reduce it to a natural explanation um, maybe you recognize it as supernatural but see it as more superstition than the work of the spirit or the work of god or number three do you receive it as a personal invitation for you to encounter the presence and power of jesus for yourself in your own life i just want to encourage you this morning start start to start to work towards number three the next time you think that god could be speaking to you the next time you see god move in a supernatural way whether that's through healing through the prophetic whatever that could possibly be i just want you to remember this third question can is this a personal invitation is this an invitation for me to encounter the power the presence and the person of jesus because i think it is and I want to encourage you to do that. So thank you for, for listening this morning. I pray it's blessed you. 
Um, and I really do encourage you, take some time to reflect on this, to meditate on it, and just to be really honest with yourself. You know, what is your first response? Do you reduce it to natural explanation? You recognize it as supernatural, but more superstitious, or the thirdly, you receive it as a personal invitation to encounter the person of Jesus. Hey, thank you for listening. God bless.